Ever wondered what we'll look like a millennium from now? Will we be the same? Will we change? Or will we be a completely different species from now? Let's start with the basics. Picture this, taller, leaner, with a dash of tech embedded in our biology. Why taller? Well, nutrition and medical advancements aren't stopping anytime soon, leading to increased average heights. And leaner, that's the product of a more health conscious world where fitness isn't just a fad, but a way of life. But here's where it gets sci-fi cool. We're talking about eyes that could see better than ever, maybe even in the dark, thanks to genetic modifications. And skin, think tougher, more resilient, maybe with natural sunblock capabilities to protect against harsher UV rays. Now tech and biology merging isn't just some dream. We're looking at built-in interfaces in our bodies. Imagine controlling your smart home with a mere thought or having enhanced memory storage right in your brain. This transformation won't just be skin deep. Our bones might become denser to withstand the effects of living longer. And our immune systems, well, they're gearing up to be the superheroes of the body, fighting off diseases like never before. Now, let's rocket off to Mars. Imagine a colony of humans living there. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's closer to reality than you think. And living on the red planet is going to change us in ways you wouldn't believe. First off, lower gravity means our Martian descendants could end up taller than us Earthlings. They might even develop a different bone structure, lighter and more suited to Martian life. And muscle mass, they'll have less of it due to the lower gravity. But hey, who needs bulging biceps on Mars? But it's not all about size and strength. The Martian atmosphere and environment are a whole different ball gimme. Humans there might develop a more robust respiratory system to handle the thin air. And let's not forget the radiation. With a weaker magnetic field than Earth, Mars doesn't shield us as well, leading to possibly thicker skin or even enhanced DNA repair mechanisms. The social and psychological evolution could be just as drastic. Isolation and a smaller community could lead to a more collaborative society, or it could go the other way, creating factions and new social dynamics. And language? Don't be surprised if our Martian friends develop their own dialects or even languages over time. It's human nature to adapt and evolve, and language is a big part of that. But the holy grail of evolution is life, and what more to reach the peak of evolution than to be immortal. First up, let's talk about telomeres, the little caps at the ends of our chromosomes. They shorten as we age, leading to the deterioration of cells. But what if we could stop or even reverse that process? Research in telomere extension is pointing towards longer, healthier lives, maybe even centuries long. Then there's regenerative medicine. Imagine having organs that could repair themselves or be replaced with lab-grown versions. And let's ignore the societal impact. Longer lives mean rethinking careers, relationships, even the concept of retirement. Imagine having multiple careers over a few hundred years. The quest for immortality could lead us down various paths. Some might focus on holistic approaches, enhancing our bodies and minds through natural methods. Others might lean into the tech side with cybernetic enhancements and digital consciousness. But with immortality comes responsibility. Overpopulation, resource management, and the environmental impact are just the tip of the iceberg. We'll need to develop sustainable ways to support longer lives without harming our planet. And let's not forget, not everyone might have access to these life-extending technologies. This could lead to a divide between the immortals and the mortals, sparking debates on ethics, equality, and human rights. We are bound to evolve. With the ever-changing environment that we have now, we will improvise, adapt, and overcome challenges. But that comes with consequential things like evolution. And what do you want to change to us as we evolve?